don't blink it's your boy ink welcome to another video welcome to my personal show ink tasting or tasting with ink i don't know uh we're doing well because i need a fantastic day a fific you see i cannot talk because it's early in the morning my neighbor hates me sorry today you guys know i love popcorn but we're tasting something that is beyond us so a funny story actually very funny story what i like to do on this channel and playlist is have a taste test for example and i know it sounds pointless but uh, there you go we have the um java 300 um loca mocha uh, mocha flavor and the first one i tasted was eh, uh, it was okay but now I'm tasting another one, and I've been drinking it over the weeks, and it's becoming better and better. And the first one I'm going to have, because I always buy in bulk, so the first one I'm going to have is going to be tasting okay, or very good. And the last one I'm going to get out of the bulk, I'm going to be like, okay, well, yeah, I like the taste, or I don't like the taste, right? So um, I did something about four months ago, I remember, because it was the first time we watched Assassination Classroom, which I still have to do. Um... Crunch Munch, we bought Crunch Munch now. We bought um something with a blue label. If you look back at the Crunch Munch on the channel, you got to see something with a blue label. And I, when I went to... Because <laughs> I had 12. And I wanted to do the first one. Then I ate and I ate and I ate and I ate. And then I realized, bro, I have none anymore. I thought I had one saved up to do part two, but I didn't. Right? And I was like, I should buy it again just to do a part two. Because this is something that's important to me. Um, and yeah, so I saw on Amazon, and I saw the blue label was traded for a orange slash red, I'm not good with colors, um, a label, and I was like, what is this, it's different, right? And I was like, caramel popcorn, and this is the exact same thing that we had the first time. I'm like, okay, something is, something is amiss over here. And then I realized that nothing was amiss. The blue, I, because I thought the blue was too old, and it changed over time. And I have a lo lot of old food. I have food from the pandemic. And it's still good. It's still good. But companies tend to change the brand. Company change tend to change things around. Um, and even on the package, it's very similar. Now, excuse my non-cultivated ass. Um, I was pretty sure that ca caramel and toffee were the same thing so when i read caramel i was like oh that's the same thing but no it's toffee so there's two kind there's one toffee it's caramel popcorn this toffee and there's caramel now if you were to ask me the difference i don't know that's why we're tasting it today tasting it no sadly i don't remember the taste of the toffee caramel the toffee popcorn so I can compare it, like, thankfully, happily, whatever the opposite of sadly is, since I don't remember the taste of toffee, um, I can be, I can come here with a open mind. Mmm. Mmm. This, my friend, is possibly the, jumbo please, best caramel popcorn I've ever had. So if you take a look at it, and why am I saying this? Well, a caramel popcorn, what's nice about it is caramel, you can be salted, it can be caramel, it can be more sugar than cream or more cream than sugar. Different consistency, different taste, different texture, texture consistency, it's the same thing. Um, but these... Very, very lightly um, cover the popcorn in itself. 
It's very lightly covered. Mmm. And I think it's really good. I mean, mmm. It's absolutely phenomenal. You get to have a perfectly sweet caramel. Not too sweet. And what I mean by that is, again, in simple terms, because I got an ADHD mind. The caramel, the amount, the layer of caramel surrounding it, compared to what's actually in the popcorn, is delicious. Now, we could have a popcorn with not enough caramel or too much caramel, but every single one of these that I taste, and I tasted a lot, you can see in the video, tastes the same. You know, that would be a bad thing, but this is a good thing. Because again, popcorn itself, and what I love is the the popcorn itself seems to be a plain popcorn. It doesn't seem to be salted or with butter. Now, am I saying that plain popcorn with caramel is better with butter or not? I don't know. But the, the thing is, if you were to have um if if you were to have salted and sweet with this the butter salt and the caramel sweet, you'll be like, well, I like the taste, but with not having the saltiness, like okay, well, I got the perfect amount of sweetness. And chances are, if you're buying caramel popcorn, you're buying it for the sweetness in itself. You're not gonna buy caramel popcorn looking for salty. If you want salty, you're gonna buy butter popcorn. So the fact that there's not butter here. You'd be like, wow, this is really sweet. And if it was too sweet, you wouldn't buy it again. If it was not sweet enough, you were like, well, there's nothing I can do, right? The fact that we're focusing on what it's supposed to be, which is caramel popcorn. We have it. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if they had a salted caramel, they have a toffee and caramel. But, again, this is perfection in a bag. Look at this bad boy. Look at this other bad boy. Very similar quantity of caramel. Um, again, it's such a a wonderful concept. You have the the caramel in itself. You have the popcorn in itself. The caramel coming with the crunch compared to the very soft interior of said popcorn. Mmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a bomb. That's a fucking bomb, dude. So good. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. If you try, you can make a better one. I'm gonna get to go. I have to go to work. If you guys, please.